uh, part of the uh, Sunday paper that I found um, really, really uh, fascinating. Uh, beginning uh, with George Washington, most U.S. presidents have uh, kept an animal or two in the White House. Um, this is not all of the uh, presidents, but um, I just thought that Abraham Lincoln's cats were the first to uh, live in the White House. And that John F. Kennedy kept dogs and cats, two hamsters, and some white birds, and a white cat named Zaza. James Buchanan kept uh, two eagles as pets. Don't try this at home. Um, our upcoming has uh, German Shepherds. <clears throat> uh, Richard uh, Nixon. Um had uh, checkers. Obama had Bo and uh, Sonny. Andrew uh, Jackson had a parrot. LBJ uh, had a dog. Thomas Jefferson uh, had this here. Yeah, even though that if you're like Republican or Democrat, it's still uh, fascinating to know. And Theodore uh, Roosevelt had a, a badger during uh, World War One. Um, this is. Um, Woodrow uh, Wilson. Um, Ford had a Labrador uh, retriever. I mean, golden retriever. Excuse me. Like I said, this is not all of the presidents here, but it just gives you a take on what um, presidential uh, animals um, that um, we have had. This here... I find uh, fascinating that on um, the incoming would be um, the oldest, but um, this will be uh, interesting. I'm going to go as uh, slow as possible and in uh, no particular um, uh, order from the oldest uh, to the youngest. And it's also nice to look at uh, pictures of uh, presidents uh, past in no uh, particular fort. Gerald R. Ford, woohoo! Um, George Bush. This is both Republican and uh, Democrat. Here, I just find it um, interesting to uh, see how uh, old. Um, they were when they uh, took office. And I always loved uh, government uh, in school. And I just thought that uh, this would be uh, something uh, interesting to show. I don't really have that um, going on uh, today. But... Um, And I'm just going uh, right down uh, the line here, if I have room. Jimmy Carter. Um, Abraham Lincoln goes right on uh, down the line. Of course, um, they're rated. They're not rated in the order of uh, presidency, but by their age. And I will do that because I'm going to... Um, Here's a little uh, tidbit of the youngest that it was McKinley and why Grover Cle uh, Cleveland is there uh, twice. 
I'll put that on there. But uh, here is our first uh, president, which uh, our first president, but it's number seven uh, teen uh, in age. But here is our first president, and here is our current uh, president, and the uh, number. Here's the one that's uh, coming in. And um, I just thought that uh, it would be uh, interesting. Now I'm going to pan up a little bit to get another slower um, shot. I just find this uh, fascinating. And this will be uh, printed out uh, tomorrow. But I just thought um, to, and also I did this to, um, if you know that the year that you were born in, and in that four years, to look up your president and see how old the president uh, is when you was uh, born. Now, I'm going to look up mine here, but I just thought I would... Um, show this again see i would have to go over to um this would be mine uh richard milhouse nixon and it says that um he was um 56 years old and 11 days <laughs> that would be mine so if you know that the year that you were born you would look up your president and that would be like a fun little uh, thing to do. That's why I'm showing this because I think that it is so fascinating to find your president and to look up um, how old um, the president was when he was inaugurated. And you get like a history of all the um, American uh, presidents. I just find this um, really, really fascinating uh, to show uh, everybody and uh, what not and to our first president this is our first president to our current president just compare on what the style of the hair was from George Washington all the way up and I'm not making fun to our current president how much style and fashion the pictures are from all from all of our uh, presidents I just find this uh, fascinating just to um, show you guys and I know that I'm going to be losing some subscribers but I just thought it would be fun and I did not have a um, a cell phone or a YouTube channel to do this and I just thought that uh, this would be uh, really really uh, cool uh, to do and here's uh, some of the people of the uh, upcoming uh, cabinet I just thought I would put that in you could um, pause that and look at it yourself and I will put this up uh, in there. I am uh, Kara Kanoff, your host, and uh, this video uh, will be a big one. And I will see everybody next time. But after I get uh, this big one out, um, I will be printing out a... Um, a smaller uh, video. I am Kara Kanoff, your host, and I will see uh, everybody uh, next time. <laughs> and this is uh, Michigan uh, News. Everybody, have a good one. I just thought I would leave on a neutral uh, note color. And it is from the Grand Rapids Press. Everybody, 
Have a good one. Bye-bye.